Hi, my name is Cold Bear, and let's start this awesome Steam Autumn Sale video with Game Deck. This is a single-player, non-combat cyberpunk RPG. You are a game detective who solves crimes inside virtual worlds by using your wits to gather information from your witnesses and suspects. Also get to the bottom of deceptive schemes, save lives, and investigate the relationships between virtual worlds and their inhabitants. The game continually adapts to your choices and never judges, just like your dog does. Also, it sounds a bit like Disco Elysium, and that's a great thing. Although, keep in mind that here you will not find any battles and no fighting is available. Pick it up only if you like to read and carefully analyze sentences in dialogues. Volferis your metal detector should be beeping like hell right now because Volferis is an amazing platformer game with a true metal soul. Reviews are very positive, so no catch here, you can buy this game even without a discount and you will be satisfied with what you get. And you get metal and a game two in one, you know, like shampoo and conditioner or you and your virginity. If you like Volferis, you can check out the game named Slain as well, made by the same developers. It also has a metal soul but slightly worse review score. People on Steam are talking that Volferis is what they expected the new modern Contra game to be. Pure sci-fi power fantasy with an incredibly good soundtrack and game atmosphere. Conan Exiles this is an online multiplayer survival game with mounts and mounted combat set in the lands of Conan the Barbarian. Here you'll enter an open world sandbox and play together with friends or, you know, with creepy strangers as you build your own home and even a shared city. You will have to survive freezing cold, explore loot filled dungeons, and develop your character from lowly peasant to a mighty barbarian. Also, fight to dominate your enemies in epic siege wars. People on Steam are talking that the game is a bit buggy and that can be annoying but it also has boobs in it, so for this you can forgive almost anything. Wasteland 3 Colorado Collection this version of the game includes the Battle of Steel Town and Cult of Holy Detonation expansions as well as the Colorado Survival Gear bonus items. And the game itself is a wonderful gem for Fallout, Baldur's Gate and turn-based combat fans. In Wasteland 3 you will travel the frozen wastes of Colorado to deal with gangs, cults and psychopathic clowns in an effort to bring stability to the wastes. Or, you know, even more chaos and even more psychopathic clowns. Here decisions really matter, not like in real life. Control. A corruptive presence has invaded the Federal Bureau of Control, and only you have the power to stop it. The world around you is now your weapon in an epic fight to annihilate Anomino's enemy across the deep and unpredictable environments. Containment has failed, humanity is at stake, so it's time to kick some paranormal ass. SCP vibes are really strong here. To be fair, this game feels like you are in a dream all the time. Well, nightmare to be exact, because everything is changing all the time and not for good. This game is is not scary, but it's ominous, that's for sure. Gris. As I shuffled through thousands of discounted games in order to make this video, I accidentally saw that Gris has overwhelmingly positive reviews and my attention was hooked. And just look how beautiful this game is, the art style is absolutely stunning. People on Steam are talking that not only the art, but everything in this game is great. Music, gameplay and even the story will leave you gobsmacked. It's not so hard to believe what they say, just look at it. There aren't many things that are as beautiful as this game. Well, except boobs. <laughs> Sorry Gris. You lose on this one. Pathologic 2. This is a narrative-driven, dramatic open-world thriller about fighting a deadly outbreak in a secluded rural town. Just like in our world recently, except the problem is localized and even more deadly. The town is dying and you have to face the realities of a collapsing society as you make difficult choices in a seemingly lose-lose situations. The plague isn't just a disease, you can't save everyone. As people say, this game delivers an atmosphere that will depress you and induce a near-constant feeling of dread, isolation and failure. That is amazing, and it has very positive reviews on Steam. Hades this is one of the most known action RPG roguelite games in our universe, and it holds third place on the best Steam rankings. That is huge, let it sink, third place among all the games on Steam. So here your goal is to avoid dying, but the game mechanics are made in a way that you will die a lot and those deaths will make you stronger. That is the beauty of Hades, instead of raging when your protagonist dies, you are happy and then you try again and again because it's very fun or because you are some kind of magic. As a hist, let's be fair, it's probably because of that, and it's okay, I don't judge. East Shade. 
nothing shady about this game, in fact it's hard to find some dark corner here. You are a traveling painter exploring the island and capturing the world on your canvas. Talk to the inhabitants to learn about their lives, make friends and help those in need. Visit cities, scale summits, unearth mysteries and discover forgotten places. Although as I always say, if you are used to killing stuff in games, you will find the lack of violence here really disturbing. You will find no enemies to maim, hack or slash, nobody to shoot, no dripping blood or intestines on the floor, and no usual possessed undead babies climbing down on the ceiling. So keep in mind that all this friendliness may really shock you, play it at your own risk. Spellforce Free Reforced if you are searching for something like the third Warcraft, search no more. This is a fun mix of RPG and RTS, meaning that most of the time you will control heroes that can gain experience, new skills and all that. Really similar to Warcraft's additional huge maps where you control Rexa. And the other half of the game is traditional base building, unit training and upgrading so you could swarm the enemy with your eternal wrath. Campaigns are really well written, so reading and listening for conversations will be the thing you'll do a lot. And I mean it, about a third of the game consists of dialogues. So if you just want quick matches where you can show your insane APM of 20, it's not the case. But if you want story-rich RTS RPG game, this is definitely for you. Shadow Warrior 2 You'll find an array of over 70 lethal blades and explosive firearms to overcome the demonic invasion. Become a whirlwind of steel and blood with razor-sharp katana, short sword, crescent blades and hand claws to unleash a hellish symphony of firearms to decimate your enemies. If I had one word to describe this game, it would be potato salad, because potato salad is great and so is this game. It is worth all your money even without a discount, although the game is quite short, but who cares? Better short fun than Long agony. You know what's even better? Long fun. Oh, shut up! Monster Sanctuary. Some time ago something happened and platformer games started to develop deepness. Monster Sanctuary is one of those examples when you put a huge interesting game into a 2D side-scrolling setting. Basically it's sort of a Pokemon game where you collect various monsters and use them for your own interest and pleasure. They do all the hard work for you and you gain all the benefits, so they are basically your slaves and have no free will of their own. They have to serve their master overlord and never think about returning to nature ever again, because once you enslave them that that's it, they are bound to your will, and somehow here, you are still a good guy. Be castled. When I played the game, I was really impressed by the graphics, mechanics and the lightness of gameplay in general. And I do not mean the storage space it takes, which is also ridiculous for a modern game. One gigabyte of free cosmos and that's it. I literally didn't expect it to be so tiny. That's what she said. Yeah, this is a game that doesn't contain any additional stuff that distracts you from the gameplay itself. Many developers forget the main thing of gaming, keep it simple, keep it fun. And this is simple, nice and fun title. Rise, Son of Rome Another game with a ridiculous price tag. Rise looks like God of War, Shadow of War and Assassin's Creed smashed together and that is never a bad thing. He will take on a role of a Roman soldier who joins the army to avenge the slaying of your family and then become a hero who must fight to save the Roman Empire itself. Well, we all know that the Roman Empire is no more, so spoilers, you failed, but in the end it doesn't really matter what you did or didn't. All that matters is that you had fun by killing hundreds of enemies and did that in satisfying Manner. People on Steam are talking that Rise Son of Rome is really nice. The game is short, sweet and enjoyable. A very positive review score left by 27,000 buyers can confirm that with ease. Slay the Spire more than 100,000 players are recommending this game for you, and so do I. Slay the Spy is a fuse of card games and roguelike titles. Here you can craft a unique deck, encounter bizarre creatures and discover relics of immense power while trying to climb up the ladder. Game features a dynamic deck building, so assemble your deck wisely. Discover hundreds of cards to add to your deck with each attempt at climbing the Spire. Select cards that work together to efficiently dispatch foes and reach the top. People on Steam are talking that Slay the Spy is really addictive, and yeah, I'm seeing a lot of hours played in the comment section. 200 is quite a casual number here, so another game that will keep your virginity safe and sound for a long time. Sekiro Shadows Die Twice 
Bound to protect a young lord who is a descendant of an ancient bloodline, you become the target of many vicious enemies. When the young lord is captured, nothing will stop you on a perilous quest to regain your honor. Well, except death. Death will stop you many, many times. Keep in mind that Sekiro is the creation of the same developers as the Souls games, and it's meant for people with masochistic tendencies. If you hate yourself, this game is for you. Although I have one piece of advice on how to easily beat this game. It's very simple. Stop being a noob and get good. Dyson's Fair Program a new kind of supercomputer has been developed, a machine whose superior artificial intelligence and computing capability will push humanity even further. I guess they built it so they could finally invent vodka without a hangover. Huge computing power is required for a task like that, that's for sure. Only one problem stands in the way. There is not enough energy in the whole planet to feed this machine, so you need to construct the Dyson Sphere, the thing that engulfs the star itself and sucks all of its energy. You know, all that energy will not suck itself, and sucking is a hard job. Ask your sister. Dismantle. You can break almost all the objects for materials and craft new items from them. Explore the handcrafted open world and uncover its mysteries, clear areas of monsters and claim them as your own. Also build bases to establish your presence and farm exotic plants to reap the rewards as crops get ripe. Game has 92% of positive reviews on Steam and only 3% short from overwhelmingly positive title. People are talking that this is very relaxing, but also a challenging game. You will stumble on areas with a large group of zombies and will get stressed a lot, but later you will grow some potatoes and enjoy a relaxing atmosphere in your garden. Breathage this is an ironic outer space survival adventure game where you will take on the role of a simple guy called the man. You are carrying your grandpa's ashes to a galactic funeral and suddenly find yourself in the middle of a universal conspiracy. A massive space hearse wrecks in deep space, leaving the area filled with debris, coffins, dead passengers and yourself. Now you have to survive in this interstellar dump, uncover a global conspiracy, save the princess and prepare for a good dose of nice humor. Like really, this game is ridiculous. Although it kinda copies Subnautica in its gameplay and if you never play the latter, I would recommend Subnautica over this game. Firewatch this is one of the most immersive games I have ever played. Firewatch is a single-player first-person mystery set in a Wyoming wilderness. The year is 1989. You are a man named Henry who has retreated from his messy life to work as a fire lookout in a lush forest. An especially hot and dry summer is a great thing everywhere, except where you work. One smoking cigarette butt or one shard of broken glass and this beauty can become a real hell on earth in seconds. This is a game for adults with adult conversation themes. Despite that it is colorful and beautiful and all, it's not made for kids in any way. Soma what a great deal for this horror science fiction game. You will explore an abandoned underwater facility in the bottom of the ocean. You don't know what happened here, where everybody is and what is your purpose. Although soon enough you will find out that you are not alone here. And not everybody you'll meet on this journey will be willing to give you a direction or two. Most of the inhabitants will be willing to make a potato salad out of you instead, so be careful. If you play the amnesia, be aware that Soma is basically the same. The Surge 2 on the way to Jericho City, your plane is shut down by a mysterious storm and crash lands in the outskirts. You wake up weeks later in a derelict detention facility inside the city. Armor-clad soldiers enforce martial law. Robots are on a rampage and a dark expanding nanostorm looms over the cityscape. So long story short, everything here wants you dead. But you are not some lame puny peasant, you have your mechanical sword and can beat enemies with it and take their parts and make yourself better in the process. Imagine if you hand wrestle with a co-worker you hate, then you win and take his eyes as a prize. Well, that took a dark turn rather quickly, right? Staxel. If you are tired of killing, make friends instead and build the farm of your dreams. Every now and then we need to relax to beat our anxiety and enjoy some nice colors. So instead of drugs this time, you can try Staxel. This is a creative farming and village life game with a cast of quirky characters. Build your farmhouse, help villagers, take to the wilds to fish or hunt for bugs, and grow a variety of crops in your backyard. This game is really good to play with friends. So if you have friends, I mean real friends, you probably know them very well. You know their secrets, so blackmail them into playing Staxel with you, because that's the only way. Solasta, Crown of the Magister. 
Here you will take control of four heroes, each with unique skills that complement one another. Every hero expressed themselves in the adventure, making each action and dialogue choice a dynamic part of the story. Although if you are expecting a dialogue worthy of Lord of the Rings narrative, aim a bit lower, somewhere where Hobbit is. Also here you will create your heroes just as you would in pen and paper game, choosing your race, class and personality. Sadly, the slider of your Ding Dong is not available here and it's a huge flaw for this game. Some say the only flaw, because the game has very positive positive reviews on Steam and was very warmly met by the fans of the genre. Days Gone this is an open-world action-adventure game set in a harsh wilderness two years after a devastating global pandemic, which made a lot of zombies out of unlucky humans. Here you will take control of a bounty hunter trying to find a reason to live in a land surrounded by death. You will scavenge to abandoned settlements for equipment to craft valuable items and weapons, or take your chances with other survivors. Days Gone has very positive reviews on Steam, so if you like zombies, give it a try. Although, have you ever imagined that somewhere in the universe there's probably a planet of zombies and they are creating horror games about becoming human. And honestly, we actually are pretty terrifying. The Talos Principle you find yourself in a strange, contradictory world of ancient ruins and advanced technology. Tasked by a creator with solving a series of increasingly complex puzzles, you must decide whether to have faith or to ask the difficult questions. Who are you? What is your purpose? And what is the best recipe of the potato salad? You'll have to solve more than 120 immersive puzzles, divert drones, manipulate laser beams and even replicate time to prove yourself and find a way out. If you think that you have a great intellect, this game game will humble you down, I promise. Sea Salt It's a dark fantasy reverse horror action strategy game with a comfy horror vibe where you play as a nightmarish force of Dagon, the Eldritch God. You will be controlling an ever-growing horde of evil minions. To say short, you are evil and you slay good guys. That is very nice, I like that. Game looks easy at the beginning, you just run after some weaponless guys and tear them to pieces. But later it gets harder and harder. That's what she said. And then everything in your control dies horribly. To be short, it's a great game. I have reviewed this game in my channel and back then I gave the game 8 cold beers out of 10, which is really high amount of imaginary alcohol. Sunless Skies here you play the captain of a locomotive, a steam engine fitted for off-rail travel, sailing the stars, leading your crew into trouble and out of their minds. Smuggle souls, barter for crates of time, stop for a cricket and a cup of vodka. Discover more of the deep, dark and marvelous fallen London universe. Also, if you like this one, check out Sunless Sea as well. You can play either game first, the stories coexist happily, just like beer coexists with its bottle. Sunless Skies is a narrative game, all action is just an addition to a bigger story. Be prepared for that. Darkest Dungeon this is a challenging gothic roguelike turn-based RPG about the psychological stresses of adventuring. You recruit, train and lead a team of weird heroes through twisted forests, forgotten warrens, ruined crypts and beyond. You'll battle not only creepy monsters, but stress, famine, disease and the lack of potato salad. That's the worst! Yeah, I couldn't agree more! So you will uncover strange mysteries and pit the heroes against an array of fearsome monsters with an innovative strategic turn-based combat system. Game may not look like it's a lot of fun, but it is, believe me. A short hike. 99% of positive reviews. What? Yeah, I know, it looks like some kind of miracle. Games with such ratings do not exist. You know, like elves, or politicians who don't lie, or elves who don't lie. Those lying bastards! So here you can hike and climb through peaceful mountainside landscapes, follow the marked trails, or explore the backcountry as you make your way to the summit. Along the way, meet other hikers and discover hidden treasures. People on Steam are talking that this game is Breath of the Wild bred with Animal Crossing and the only bad thing about this game is that it ends. And it ends really quickly, about one and a half hour of your life will be made better by this game. A masterpiece, no doubt. Don't starve. Here you play as Wilson, a gentleman scientist who has been trapped by a demon and transported to a mysterious wilderness world. You must learn to exploit this environment and its inhabitants if you ever hope to escape and find your way back home. Although be warned, you will not be given any instructions, no help, no hand holding, no penis holding. You will start with nothing, craft, hunt, research, farm and fight to survive. The game is really challenging, but also it is one of the best games for survival fans. Dark Wood 
This is a survival horror from a top-down perspective that is quite terrifying to play. Well, at first you may think, What is so terrifying in this? I can barely see things, they are so small. You know what else is small? Of course you know, but don't worry, I can keep a secret. Or can I? Subscribe, let's be friends with benefits. This way all your secrets will be safe with me. This game is all about immersion and it will drag you in so hard you won't be able to escape. And also it will grow some balls on your hair and maybe even on your eyebrows. Yeah, you heard right. By day you explore the randomly generated ever sinister woods, scavenge for materials, craft weapons and discover new secrets. And by night you find shelter, barricade yourself inside abandoned buildings, set up traps and hide or defend yourself from the horrors of the dark wood. Two Point Hospital here you will build and decorate a hospital, cure patients with utterly bizarre illnesses, train your staff and upgrade machines to create the most effective facility possible. Game is humorous, here you will find various funny diseases you can cure, like turtle head, premature mummification, emperor complex or monobrow for example. Yes, that is serious. Also, be sure that those illnesses are funny only to us, definitely not for our patients. You wouldn't want a penisitis on your face or assicles all over your body, I'm pretty sure that. Yonder, the Cloud Catcher Chronicles. This title can be really entertaining for those who like farming and crafting games like Stardew Valley, My Time at Porsche and similar ones. Although it's not on the same level of quality, it's way shorter and smaller than those aforementioned. But it's really cute and interesting if you have a hunger for games like that while you wait for My Time at Sandrock to be released out of early access. By the way, the latter is discounted by 20%. Check it out. Yonder is a relaxing open world adventure set on a natural island paradise with 8 distinct environments, ranging from tribal tropical beaches to snow-capped summits. But this land is not as perfect as it seems. The mysterious murk has taken hold of the land, so your task is to remove it. Age of Wonders – Planetfall Emerge from the cosmic dark age of a fallen galactic empire to build a new future for your people. Here you will build your kingdom with one of six unique factions, ranging from the militant vanguard to the dinosaur riding amazons, cyborg zombies and underwater kittens of instant potato salad. Well, maybe not the latter, but I assure you the diversity of units is really nice. Game has a great single player campaign and random skirmish maps. It is a fun game for you if you are a fan of games like Disciples or Heroes of might and magic. The Pathless this is a perfect game for fans of Journey and Abzu, although with a tiny bit of more action implemented. Here you will become the Hunter, a master archer who travels to a mystical island to dispel a curse of darkness that grips the world. Soar through the air and forge a connection with your eagle companion. Perform fluid acrobatics and execute awesome trick shots with a unique archery system that allows effortless shooting while moving at high speeds. The evil won't rest until the world is destroyed, so what are you waiting for? And now I know that you are concerned about the the most important thing. Can you pet the bird? And yes, you can, so it's automatically a good game. Also, it has very positive reviews score on Steam. Dead Cells Overwhelmingly positive reviews should lock your attention even if you don't like pixel art graphics. And this game can stand strong behind the name of the style, it's true art. The game is really beautiful, just like you my friend, but graphics are just one side of the coin. People on Steam are talking that this roguelite metroidvania is probably the best game of the genre. Along with the graphics you will get great music and a gameplay more addictive than vodka. If when you wake up in the morning your hands are trembling and all you want to do is play dead cells, you are dead cells. Holoholic. Please don't seek help, gaming is good for you. Rock Simulator here you can become what you have always wanted. A rock with no problems, no depth, no health issues, no worries. Your girlfriend situation won't change though. Here you will level up to explore the great landscapes created by Mother Nature. With zero responsibilities and nothing else but the wind blowing on your hard, rocky surface. Start your adventure in the plains while earning enough experience to unlock more maps by doing what a rock does best. Just exist. Also, Rock Simulator has an intense online co-op play mode implemented, so you could play this exciting game together with your friends and have tons of pure fun. 94% of the reviews are positive, that is huge, only 1% short from overwhelmingly positive review score. Anyway, this game may not be a gem you were looking for, but it for sure is a nice polished rock. One of the best games of 2019, you have my sincere recommendations. Command and Conquer Red Alert 3 
So speaking about rocks, if somehow you were living under a rock in the bottom of the ocean far away on a distant planet in a parallel universe and avoided Red Alert 3, this is your chance to fill the gap and play one of the best RTS games ever created. Or maybe you have nostalgia and way more powerful machine than in the year of 2008 when you were playing the game for the first time. So now you can enjoy the game in full glory. Also you can find tons of mods now that improve the gameplay in one way or another. Red Alert 3 has an awesome campaign, still good looking graphics and tons of fun. And if you like this video, please don't hesitate to watch another one. It's even better than this one full of great discounted games. Thank you for watching, have a nice day and I'll see you next time. Bye!